so what we're doing today is trying to figure out the mess that is my storage because it's just it's just bad you can see it so i have <laughs> so i have bought this thing and we're gonna try to fit my whole art supply hoard in there and we'll see how it works out Okay, so now I gotta nail this part to the rest of the, the shelving unit and I don't have a hammer, fuck. Welcome to my trash dungeon. We're all trash here. So this is a bucket of assorted paints, I guess. And little fail paintings and you know swatches and shit. So this is this can go in here. Then oh my god. I got really overwhelmed all of a sudden. These are my knockover. <laughs> These are my knockoff knockoff AirPods and they worked for two days and then they stopped charging. I'm very upset. Ideally I need to like throw all this away. I guess maybe that because it's like little knickknacks that I can't really display or that like are kinda useful but I don't I don't have use for them. Which now I'm realizing that sounds like very, very horror thing to say. You know, things that can be used, but I'm not using them. So, I don't know, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna throw any of this away. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep it. I'll use them one day. It's a common theme here. Oh, that's this thing. So this thing is a room spray. And it's um, called Velvet Orchid. Like, I don't know if I would say, no, I guess. It smells kind of florally, kind of like a gram. So this, <laughs> this one broke. It's a choker that I made for a video tutorial, which I know nobody's gonna ever follow. Nobody ever follows anything on the internet. We just like, we just like the idea of being creative, but not actually being creative, I guess. And um, I see like tutorials and stuff that people watch and never do as like creative porn, I guess. <laughs> this is broken. This is broken too. Well, I don't really know if it's broken. This used to be my mother's wallet and she passed away many, many years ago. But, you know, it's just a little keepsake that I supposed to myself. I don't use it because it's not, not not really my style, and I just don't have <laughs> I don't have enough money to wear and carry in the wallet. <laughs> this is <laughs> this is a Christmas gift that I never sent, and I fuck. It's already mid January. <laughs> I saw as a painting that I was trying to make twice. Cause it was supposed to be like I, I was trying to make like a full like scene with the houses and like them floating there and stuff but then um i realized that i am very bad at drawing backgrounds <laughs> that's trash i'm a hoarder so this one is um a painting from one of the videos and i actually got a i got a comment saying that, that it would make like a good sticker sheet and now thinking about it, it actually would. I don't know, nobody would buy stickers from me. These are little paintings that I did. It's like, a, what do you call it? Like a triptych? Trip, triptych? But I feel like these two kind of look like they belong together because they're kind of like similar style, I guess. And this one is like kind of different. If you want to buy them, hit me up. This is very frustrating to me. <laughs> but like, I. I like the idea of like living kind of like minimalistic in general because like I, I do think that like the less shit you own, the less shit you have to worry about. But 
my hoarding tendencies think otherwise. Like, oh, you might need it someday. Why don't you keep it around for a while? That's my contact paper for my desk. Oh, a hat I was looking for because my hair is shit. Ew! There's a spider on it. A dead spider. So I guess the worst part, this is like my, this is my biggest fear, right? Like somewhere in here, like in my very bad storage area, there's gonna be a spider sitting in there. And I will reach in there, I'll stick my hands in there, I'm gonna get beaten or something, or just like it'll crawl out and it's gonna be all nasty. But yeah, there's a fucking dead spider on my painting. I don't even know what to do with it. Burn the house down? Sure, I hope it's just daddy long legs, but it looks kind of light to be one. I hope it's not like a brown recluse or something. Because if it's a brown recluse, I'm gonna fucking burn the house down and move out with my title cards. This needs to go. This needs to go in the trash. Can I keep it? That needs to go in the trash. This one is like, I don't have anything against this three whatsoever, but this one in particular is very, very, very tragic. It's real ugly. <laughs> it's real ugly. I, I was gonna do a, like, um, like bullet journal, I guess. Like 2019 bullet journaling. Like I started to do like, stuff and then i stopped on the first of on, on the 6th of um january it's like it's so pathetic i don't even know if, like why i'm sharing it here cards that i did and kind of fell out of love with the whole series because like i haven't posted i haven't posted one in a long time so yeah So yeah, I, I don't know. On one hand, I feel like I should stick by it because I started it, so I need to finish it. But on the other hand, it's just like, it doesn't really bring me enjoyment. And since YouTube is not necessarily my job, it's not necessarily, it's not my job whatsoever in any capacity because I don't make any money from YouTube whatsoever. But, um, you know, so it's if it's my hobby, like what's the point of like, you know, doing things that I don't necessarily enjoy on my channel. This is my Inktober sketchbook from 2018, which I don't know, I kind of want them. I don't know, I, on one hand, I really like, I really like keeping like sketchbooks and stuff like this for just keepsake and you know to look back and stuff but on the other hand i feel like they don't do anything good just sitting there so i've been considering that maybe putting them up for sale like the originals but on the other hand i'm a little worried about like people like getting it and like claiming that it's theirs first and second of all i don't think anybody wants them no, because i'm not popular that makes sense. Maybe like down the road. This one, I think, as it stands right now, it's like my first uh, sketchbook from my first ever YouTube video that I filmed like two years ago. I was trying to make a sketchbook tour, like flip through and stuff. I didn't know how to film videos yet. So I filmed the flip through like really fast, really quick, like, like just like, you know, just like this. And then I was trying to add the voiceover afterwards and somehow it never it never occurred to me that I could talk and film at the same time and like play with sketchbook so I wouldn't have to like try and explain things when I'm like flipping the sketchbook like really fast like this. Yeah, and for some reason I for some reason I never thought to like film it again or like Oh Lord <laughs> I need to like take this one to a thrift store probably because it's one of those like coloring books I got for I think Christmas last year or for my birthday last year but it's like it's like really intricate it's like one of those like 
relaxation like anxiety anxiety relieving coloring books but <laughs> i look at them and i get anxiety because they're like so fine and like so detailed and i'm just like and i feel like it's very like very mundane activity not mundane activity but not so like it's such like a meticulous activity like like if i had to like color this thing like i would probably flip my shit <laughs> too fine they're too fine in my opinion and that comes from somebody who really enjoys beading and embroidery and i think i should probably take it to thrift store and um get rid of it because i'm not gonna use it maybe somebody else will enjoy it you know i think i start a trash pile on the other hand there's another side of the paper i can use so i'll keep it i feel like this video is gonna be just me coming to terms that i'm a hoarder <laughs> i can't make it too serious part one coming in terms that i'm a hoarder part two getting the hell from my hoarding <laughs> i'm like i'm not necessarily like this bad with other things like i got rid of most of my clothes not too long ago because like i have i wasn't i wasn't wearing them and like i can't be I can't be bothered to fucking, you know, match colors and shit like that. I just wear all black and great clothes and, you know, just don't worry about it. But, like, with anything, like, art-related or craft-related, it's just, like, my whole, my, like, little demon comes out and me, like, Keep it. Keep everything. You'll need it one day. Uh, and I never need it. I never use it. Like, I know it. But can't do anything about it. This eye looks like a vagina. I think I draw ladies too curvaceous. I think it's because I don't have any curves. It's like my, my, my bag goes straight into my leg. Oh, this was a video that never saw the light of day. Trash. <laughs> Let me show you something. So this is a, um, a storyboard for one of the <laughs> things because I wanted I wanted to be a story time animator, right? Like I was thinking about it, but then, um, and I was planning videos and shit, and I was gonna make a, um, <laughs> I'm gonna make kind of like a, a homage to Odd Ones Out, so way stories, because I used to work at Subway too, and I have stories to tell. So this is the um, storyboards for that. <laughs> It's so funny to look at it because this is like absolutely different. Like it can't be any any more different from what I thought my channel was gonna be to what my channel has become. It's so funny to look at. So this is one of my most favorite sketchbooks like to this day because it has like this kind of like soft white kind of paper. It's pretty thin, but it's like kind of textured. Now I really like textured paper, but it also has a little bit of tone paper in, in it in the middle and i just think it's like such a great um like mix of stuff and i wish i could get another one of these but i couldn't be oh, i haven't been able to find another one of these so <laughs> i don't know if i ever want to show this sketchbook to anybody because this is <laughs> I wasn't even that young back then, like, I don't know why, but I was very infatuated with uh, Five Nights at Freddy's <laughs> back in the day, and this is probably, like, when did it come out? Like, 20, 2014? 2014, I think? Or something like that, and I was very infatuated with it. I'll show you one thing. I don't think I will ever show this to anybody. I'm pretty sure I used to post it on Instagram, I'm like, um... <laughs> on my old Instagram. I can't believe I used to fucking post them. Oh my god, I'm just like looking I was looking through it because I found it not too long ago and I was like, oh my fucking god. I cannot believe it. Like oh I was so infatuated with Five Nights at Freddy's. Like I don't know. I don't remember. I don't remember why. This was probably the least cringy or horrible. Like, I don't understand why I was so, like, I was a fan. Like, I was, like, a big fan. And I used to, like, you know, I used to, like, come up with theories and shit like that and try to solve everything. <laughs> it's just, like, it's so bad to even talk about. 
It's like so, ah, oh, it's so annoying. Ooh, this one was um, my first tone sketchbook that I bought, which I want to finish now because like it's, it has very nice tone paper in there. But um, I'll find some to show you. <laughs> so, like I thought I was hot stuff when I was doing that. Like I thought it was so good. And now it's just like I look back at it and I'm like, wow, I used to think my artwork was great. Like at, at the time that I remember very vividly, but like at the time when I was drawing this, I thought that like my artwork was so like impeccable and like it was so good. And then I was like a great fucking artist and shit. And now I'm looking back at it and I'm like, wow, I was already 19 when I drew this. And I'm like, wow. Like this one. I mean, I still make similar mistakes, but I feel like I think I got a little better with like, you know, in general, I feel like I got a little better. Because I think I drew something in here. Because like, so this is like, this is was 2013, my 2013 drawing. And this one was my 2019 drawing because I bought a white like charcoal print pencil. I'll shine it up. And you know, like I think there's, I hope there is some kind of improvement. I hope you can see some kind of improvement because like if there, there, if there is not, then like it's, I don't even know how I'm gonna leave with myself. I guess in general with like growing up and stuff, that's what I think about a lot of times. That um, how I used to behave and like how I used to like think about things and um like i don't know I'll, I'll, i guess just like being a teenager or something like being cocky and like thinking oh like you're you know better than you really are and like more competent than you really are and i'm just like thinking about it sometimes and i'm like how did i even used to have friends because like back in the day i used to have a lot of friends i'm like how did i have friends when i was like such like shitty person like utterly shitty person so, like things that kind of like make me sad when I think about it sometimes. I think that you know, growing up, like living is kind of scary. I feel like, but like growing up wasn't nearly as scary than I thought it was gonna be. You know, because like I was, I don't know, I don't know how to explain it. Like being an adult is scary, but becoming an adult wasn't necessarily as scary. Like. Everybody, like I've done a fair share of my mistakes, just like anybody has done because just because like, just because you're dumb, like you're just because of, like, when you're young and dumb, like you, you know, you want to do things that you sh maybe necessarily shouldn't be doing. But yeah, I think that's going to be all I'm going to show and I'm going to check back in with you when I'm down, like sorting this all out because it's taking a lot longer when I'm trying to talk and like show shit <laughs> so and I want to be done today because I can't leave my fucking living room looking like this so yeah I'm gonna check back in with you whenever this whole fucking thing is done